As recent events in the Middle East and Japan have raised the specter of oil price hikes and nuclear safety concerns, one outcome has certainly been the refocus on renewable energy. Gomesa is among the world's leading manufacturers of wind turbines and wind farm developers. And joining us today on INSEAD Knowledge is Jose Antonio Malumbras, Gomesa's Chief Technology Officer, to discuss the outlook for Gomesa and for the wind energy business. Welcome and thank you for joining INSEAD Knowledge. As Chief Technology Officer, what are your priorities in this increasingly competitive sector? My priorities is to bring uh, new technologies into our products to make them more competitive in the fastest uh, possible time. So new technologies in, in uh, appropriate time to market is my first and uh, almost uh, unique priority at this moment. Where and when can we expect the next breakthroughs in wind technology? Where well, we can already see today the, a new generation of machine with a lower cost of energy. In the case of Gamesa, we are just introducing our G10X machine. Uh, the, the introduction of a permanent uh, man magnet generation together with full converter and uh, two-stage uh, gearboxes is bringing the cost of energy down and uh, this is just an example. The breakthroughs are uh, all oriented to reducing the cost of energy. So we want to be in parity uh, with respect to the cost of generating electricity with traditional sources. And the way to obtain this is through three, three areas. One is to work in the efficiency. So how much energy are you obtaining from the wind? And uh, the second is the reducing the manufacturing logistics and assembly cost of the of the wind turbines and the third one is increasing the availability of the turbines this is the amount of time that the turbine is uh, working when there is wind what's your outlook for offshore wind energy development do you see it overtaking onshore technologies no in in in, in no case we consider that the offshore uh, business will overtake the onshore uh, business we believe that it's going to be dependent on the part of the world. Uh, Europe, uh, offshore in Europe, will probably start to be a big issue in 2015, when the UK round three uh, program is is launched. Uh, in China, we also expect that uh, with the government uh, impulse uh, around 2015. Uh, extensive areas of uh, China Sea will will see development on offshore, and in the United States is uh, still a bit uncertain because there is uh, still political debate about the the launching of this uh, offshore uh, business. What are the challenges for offshore technologies? The right technology for offshore development is is being developed right now. Uh, Gamesa and all the other. Uh, players in this industry are working on the machines that will be necessary for this market. Uh, uh, all of this technology will be available by 2014-2015, so it will not be an issue of technology. It's probably going to be an issue of the enormous amount of uh, financial needs in order to ramp it up. How have European government's austerity measures affected the demand for wind energy and for manufacturing processes for Gamesa? The financial uh, restrictions with respect to the debt on European market is not affecting directly the, the demand of the, of the market. What is affecting a lot is the lack of financial uh, capabilities uh, in the markets. So the, the reduction in the amount of money being borrowed to the, to the investors uh, is reducing the, the demand for the installation of, uh, of new capacity, of new, new generation capacity. Additionally, the crisis is slowing down the, the use of energy. So if uh, the energy consumption is not growing, in theory there is no need for more capacity. Uh, generation generating electricity 
and this is also slowing down the, the market. So those are the two issues. Gamesa has been vigorously expanding into emerging markets like China, India, Brazil. China, in fact, makes up 30% of your business. To what extent are you relying on local suppliers? We rely a lot in, in local suppliers. Uh, I could say as an example that uh, the turbines that we are selling in, in China have a 90% local content. So 90% of the components of the machine are produced uh, locally by Chinese suppliers. But these Chinese suppliers are working completely uh, on our specification and our quality records. So it takes a lot of time to develop uh, the supply chain to the quality standards that you require. But once you get there, it's, it's, uh, they are very reliable suppliers and very, very good suppliers. In China, you have the challenge of local suppliers who are also selling to Chinese competitors that have become dominant players in the last few years. They're also expanding their exports, aided by low interest loans taken from their government. How will Gamesa continue to compete? Yes, th th this is true. Uh, the, the local Chinese players, players are dominant in their market. The market in China has been driven mostly by price. Uh, if this is the case, uh, we, ha we have a very hard uh, competition, but we are seeing a shift towards quality. So we are expecting that in the next years, the competition in the Chinese market will be a combination of price and quality. And we believe that uh, when, when competing on price and quality, we are clearly very competitive in, in China. The key issue is that spending a lot of time working together with the suppliers. We have a complete department that is based uh, on engineering, uh, purchasing and quality people that works for, for months and in any case even for, for more than one year with a given suppliers until the moment that we are all convinced that the quality of the product is the right one. Part of your company's success is recruiting the best engineering talent, but do you find that we are losing too many engineers to MBA programs and managerial positions? I think we need both things. Uh, we need engineers uh, developing management uh, skills because uh, we need engineers uh, running the companies. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, it will be very bad if most of the engineers uh, go into managerial uh, activities. So we uh, still need to maintain a pure engineering uh, career uh, within the companies. And this, this is, for instance, one of the aspects that Gamesa is working very hard. I mean, we are offering to our people uh, a managerial uh, professional career, uh, and, but we are also offering in parallel a pure technical professional career with the same levels of uh, economic and social compensation and benefits. So in this way, we are trying to avoid that everybody wants to be a manager. So we also want people that wants to be a very good engineers through their professional career. Mr. Malumbres, thank you very much for joining us on NCAD Knowledge today. My pleasure, thank you very much.